topic. So, okay. Cock confidence. Oh, I can tell you how this show's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm developing a theory. We'll see if anyone's ever been proven. I say I'm all for these scientific experiments. Let's just prove these okay. things. So my theory is that if you're a short man, but you have a large cock, mm -hmm. you okay. still have a fantastic confidence. Mm. Then uh -huh. a tall man with a horrible cock. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> 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 Which is why they have to go after for money. So, is it um, confidence in cock size? How do you think it plays into a man's? That's uh, interesting. That yeah. is an interesting. Would you yeah, rather be a short man with a good big giant cock or a tall man Hell with a terrible cock? Yeah, I want the business. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think if I had to walk around with one, I would want one that's rather impressive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because who wants to pull out like, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> we represent the... <laughs> yeah, the or the Mario Brother Mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> boink, boink, boink. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah. You know what? Because I, I think a lot is linked to a man's uh, genitalia. <laughs> I think so yeah, too. Yeah, I agree. Like, well, I like short men. I always find them mm -hmm. usually good confidence, but then I date short men with have big dicks, so I don't know. <laughs> but the we short don't men know I about date. those wee little men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because they're at home cowering in the corner. I did encounter, <laughs> yeah, anytime I did encounter a man with, that had a terrible cock, he had to overcompensate in some other area. Mm -hmm. right. Like he was a jerk and, you know. And he probably had a red Corvette. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, or money, who'd be bragging about his money or something like that. But right. he always had some kind of like fucked up attitude. And then as soon mm. as his pants came off, I was like, oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Because I think sometimes, um, yeah, I think sometimes if a guy feels that he's like, I knew, okay, for instance, perfect, perfect, perfect scenario. Somebody that I used to work with used to always talk about how big his dick was. Oh, it's probably oh, it's not. Ways. No, it was giant. Oh, it was? Oh, oh okay. Because yeah, okay, we're both wrong. Because yeah. I, I know a lot of other guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, of course, I'm like the one, so how was it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get pictures? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was huge. And I was like, no wonder why he talks about it all the time. Mm -hmm. I think He's it, proud of it. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I would talk about it too. Mm -hmm. But then on the flip, the flip side of the coin, there's guys who always talk about their genitals that mm -hmm. are just mm -hmm. like little. Or the ones that uh, swear that they're really good at cunnilingus. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. It's yeah. like the pussies down mm -hmm. there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's almost a theory of like the people that I know that are millionaires really don't talk about their money. Right, right. yeah. Or you old money I mean? never talk mm -hmm. about their money. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. new money that talks about their money. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why, especially like a lot of rap stars, I know it's really popular to um, brag about how much money you have and you show off all your cars and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all oh, that shit's on loan. Yeah. Like, I don't believe it, yeah. you know? I'm yeah. like, the, you're bragging, you got the three Mercedes. Oh, that shit's on loan. Come on, uh -huh. you didn't buy three Mercedes last night. No, you did not. <laughs> yeah. You know, or all that. No, you didn't, mister. Yeah. But all yeah, those diamonds it, is, it, it does seem to be a, a, a bragging point. Like, mm -hmm. And again, when I was growing up, we all had to get, like, at school, in the locker room, everybody had to get naked. Everybody was walking around, mm -hmm. seeing each other. Now they're all, oh no, you know, it'll hurt my feelings. So we gotta stand behind and come in and you know, and but That's they don't a small get dick man. They're finally they standing up for themselves. Yeah. I'm not showing you anymore. You aren't laughing at me no more. Yeah, but it used to, it, that it was it that's where it started, was like in the locker room and all of that and, and teasing and that type of mm -hmm. thing. That's where insecurities and all of that can start. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Especially like adolescent boys are cruel. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. very cruel. They're very cruel. Yeah. They're cruel to everybody, yeah. I mean, I think adolescents in general can be cruel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, I don't think any women criticized me for having small boobs like when I was a teenager. I don't think mm -hmm. any of the girls did. Mm -hmm. Like walking through the gym or anything like that in the dressing room. I don't think any of us but never, what about like a girl that had it was really big tits? Yeah, the I don't boys remember probably, any of the girls uh -huh. doing that to other girls. Uh, it was uh -huh. usually boys. Yeah, picking on it was girls. it was boys mm -hmm. picking on girls. At least not towards anything I observed. Uh -huh. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Now imagine those boys all naked in the locker room. 
<laughs> yeah, just the torture and days. torment, and yeah. <laughs> and I wonder now if everybody uh, makes fun of you for being too hairy. Like oh, back in the yeah, olden days, definitely. hairy well, meant more testosterone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But as a teenage boy now, are uh, you pressured into waxing? I would. Mm. I would guess. I would imagine. Because I always found it uh, found it attractive because I was like, ooh, he looks really good. He looks older. I know when and, I first uh, went uh -huh. to puberty, I liked the hairy chest. Uh -huh. But then about 10 years later, I was like, yeah, no more hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> but when I first, when the hormones first started happening, I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, hairy. I remember <laughs> being 13, and a friend of the family was over, and I was listening to her talk. It was, she was talking about this guy's hairy chest. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with her? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I, like, I couldn't understand it. Yeah. She was like, oh, I like to lay on his chest. Oh, my why didn't you? Through his hair. I was like, yeah. why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. I don't you like know? it. It hurts the nose. If you try to massage oh, like it, it, it makes yeah. your fingers numb. I don't, yeah. I don't like I a carpet. Understand. You know, I don't <laughs> like it really. But just but that light shrink. covered hair on the chest. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, like, I as love a grown that. up, like, I, I can see I like the little line or something. Oh, and that line that goes down. Yeah, Ooh, like a little bit that. around the nipples and then the line down. Oh my God, I'm going to have to go masturbate here if we keep talking about this. And cock size. Ah, and <laughs> oh, that leads us to topic number two. <laughs> Masturbation. Oh, apropos. So, Bill Maher had a, a thing on his show and he said... Uh, I bet said, you he's got a small cock. Really? Yeah, I, I think bet he's, you it's five inches. Well, I don't think it, it might not be long, but I bet it's kind yeah. of thick. It See, probably he's some short girth to it. and thin... Um, I bet he's got a wee little peck. Down. Yeah, and and uh, I've I fucked enough men to do a um, you know to have a to have a You're scientific like a rough a idea, penis almanac. right? What are you yeah, to kind of see the right. the structure so of the man. I've, I've fucked yeah. enough and men that look like here. him, and okay. it's usually uh -huh. a five inch cock, five uh -huh. and a half if they're really lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, usually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's probably probably, probably prides himself in cunnilingus, I would bet. Mm -hmm. That's my take on Bill. He wears Mar. too much makeup. Well, that's his makeup person, wouldn't it be? <laughs> but anyway, when the makeup comes off, so does the clothes. <laughs> bow, 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 wow. <laughs> but see, that's why I also like Bill Maher because I think he does have a five-inch cock and he's short, but he's still got the. Yeah. He's still brave enough to put his face out he's in like the world. He's like a teacup Yorkie. <laughs> 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 Even though, you know, mm -hmm. like if somebody was to punch him in the face, he'd fall flat, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And far as well, man he's really not he's that tiny. short. He's oh, I not he's that like short. Tiny. No, I met him once and we were all not quite eye to eye, but yeah? I didn't have to like look down at him or anything. I met him once um, signing his book, mm -hmm. um, but he was sitting down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but he just always seemed like really tiny to me. Because I saw mm -hmm. him do the speech and everything like that. I still was thinking like 5'7 at best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 5'9, so anything other than that. <laughs> <laughs> anything other than that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's just. <laughs> My rule of thumb is if I can look you in the eye, don't even fucking call me. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. I like the short guys. Yeah. Especially if they have really good thighs and that thick thighs mm, and they can hold yeah. you up on their. I'm 5'3. Oh, yeah. If you can look me in the eyes. <laughs> No. Number one, either go Without through puberty. Heels. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> but, sorry, but back on the last subject, I, I meant to mention, um, but there are a lot of guys that are always bragging about their big dick. Yeah. And they don't have one. Because yeah. when, when push comes to shove, and it's like, okay, show me, show me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm always yeah. suspicious of the ones that claim they want to be a virgin. psychology. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, they have to. Yeah. yeah. And they try to convince you it's big. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, <laughs> or they want to marry a virgin because the virgin doesn't know or something. Like the internet doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. You know, you can go on the internet. What's the normal size? Or they date someone who's like, are you kidding me? I'm a fucking professional. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're lying. <laughs> yeah, or like the guys that claim that they want to be a virgin until married and they're like 30 years old and they're still not married. I'm like, you got a problem with your dick. I guarantee uh, you. Um, I think that they just, yeah, they haven't had access to pussy, so that's probably... No, I, I think the <laughs> reason they don't is because they're too scared to take their pants off. They have to be in love with the woman, or they want the woman to be in love with him so that the it woman's not going to insult them the moment he takes his pants off. Uh -huh. And that she'll have understanding and still That has him. to be, like, um... I imagine the kind of anxiety one would have. Oh, if it you, is, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? If you feel inadequate. Yeah. 
in See, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And then, and like, a, a girl <laughs> or an inexperienced girl would oh, <laughs> laugh or something, right. you know, like, because yeah. she might not have ever seen a, a penis before. Right. And then that that also would, or just cause, be like, would cause an insecurity. Oh, okay, hey, we can work with that. <laughs> yeah, I imagine somebody's reaction to you kind of sets yeah. the tone of the yeah. night. Because yeah. it's really hard to, um, when you're not expecting something, to control that first reaction to be like, oh, Yeah. Hey. Yeah, because if I walk in the room naked and the guy goes, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wrap it up, we're not doing this shit. See you later, buddy. <laughs> I need like a wow factor or something. <laughs> but I know for a, a while when I was younger, I didn't have any sympathy for the men that didn't have any um, dicks, like small penises, because when I was a teenage girl, uh, those boys would tease me for not having boobs, right? And I always oh, thought, okay. you motherfuckers, you wear pants and I can't see your dick size. Mm -hmm. You could see my boob job, my mm -hmm. boob size, you know? And so I was like, ooh, the moment, ooh. You know, and so for the longest yeah. time, I was like, I don't feel sorry for you small dick dudes, you know, because <laughs> at least you can hide it in your pants. <laughs> but now I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, what was that? Now I'm compassionate. Well, you start a fucking charity. Fuck <laughs> them. <laughs> no. I'm compassionate. But I am really an equal, equal opportunity cocksucker. I mean, I can, I can. I did, I, whatever size you whip out, I can. But you know what? I'll work with Has it. this happened to you, where they whip it out and it's flaccid and it's only like this big, and you're and like, grow. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. like, oh shit. And then before and you know oh, it, you're yeah. choking on it. Like, you're like, holy <laughs> God, where'd this come from? If I yeah. had gag reflexes. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. Not for nothing, I still have my tonsils. I know that's yeah. really irrelevant. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that one out there so I could be part of the conversation. Just be a bulimic. You get this. Yeah. Yeah. You learn not to gag after a while. After a while, you can stick that thing all the way down your throat. Nothing's happening. Yeah, I was at a party the other night where I was like, yeah, taking some really serious big black dick. Yeah. And he was showing me how to how to take it. And I was yeah. like, that was kind of hot. See, I would say for blowjobs, I like them um, small dicked. Because big mm -hmm. chicks, it hurts my thought. My, uh, uh -huh. Oh, you have TMJ? Yeah, and then like this <laughs> starts jokes. to stretch and starts to hurt. Uh -huh. and then, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, I want a small dick when I'm blowjobbing. Yeah, because then I can like really do it. <laughs> yeah. You know, but if it's too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't. It hurts afterwards. <laughs> Pay me extra for a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder oh, you if could. you can charge that. Like, mm -hmm. when you park right. a car, sometimes the SUVs cost more than the little sedan. Right. That's like, <laughs> exactly. There's a reason why, you, yeah, those big, yeah, stretches you out too much. You got to recover. <laughs> Take a break. Put on some more Vaseline, you know, so you're not going to dry lip. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I also think that the guys that are very well endowed sometimes have it really difficult because yes, they do. a mm -hmm. lot of times Absolutely. girls are like, oh, no. No, Mr. Right. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. if it's too big, I don't want don't, it in me. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, you're stretching me out, dude. <laughs> the, people, the guy in the afterwards is going to What do you think I am, the Holland Tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> the Holland Tunnel. That's Tim. <laughs> That's Tim. <laughs> Holland Tunnel. Does my dick look like Tim Moss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be ruined for the next guy. <laughs> Imagine it can be difficult for mm -hmm. really endowed men mm -hmm. as well. So I think guys that are just like in the average, yeah, they're cool. the luckiest. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah. yeah, they probably get the I most. I say a seven, a seven to an eight is perfect, and even uh -huh. an eight might be too much. It a might seven, be pushing, I think, yeah. is perfect. Mm -hmm. A nice seven. A six is average, but a nice seven is perfect. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. With a good. It's gush. a heavenly number. Yeah, that's there's right. A reason, yeah, there's a reason. God's why seven. Number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do the lottery. Seven, 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 seven. Sixty-nine. Seven, seven, seven. seven. Yeah. All right. So back to Bill Maher. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I got us off on that. All right. So he said, he says, uh, masturbate, don't procreate. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, and he said that because apparently the new millennials aren't having as much sex, mm -hmm. that they're either masturbating really? or watching Netflix all the time and they're or playing video games I and they're not having as that. much sex. I don't know because what I've seen, especially in like New York nightlife, is that the younger generation are a lot more sexually fluid. 
Um, right, right. They're a lot more experimental. Mm -hmm. Like there, there was like a time when it was like lesbian chic, where girls were, uh, I'm gonna kiss yeah. my girlfriend in yeah. the middle of marquee. Take a picture. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. So I don't know. I'm not really. I'm not sure about that. Well, apparently those are the new polls now. Where they're getting their poll numbers from? But I don't know. like mm -hmm. married or partnered. People, yeah, just in general. Yeah, they're just no. They're just saying in general the the, the millennial is generation sense. isn't is, is they're they're more yeah, more that they're engaged. they're not having as much children anymore too. Right, they're now, more the they're more they're more engaged in like Here's technology the, and all of that than they are in right, physicality. and watching Netflix all the time yeah. or playing video games all the right. time and. You know, like me personally, I was saying the other day, of walking down the street, all these guys are doing this now, which is great because they're not standing on the corner going, phew, phew, hey, bit, you yeah. know, <laughs> because they're all obsessed with, I'm like, yeah, I can walk down the street now, so I like this, mm. but supposedly they're not having as much sex anymore. Hmm, I can see not, that to a degree. They're not I'm having not... as many babies anymore. Well, I can definitely see um, a lot of people are not having as many children because like I, I've said in past shows, I'm one of the only people out of like my age range, my group of friends that has kids. There's mm -hmm. not very many of us. Everybody else is like going to Dubai. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm in freaking in Orange, Dubai. New Jersey. You know what I mean? These bitches are fucking going yeah. to Dubai. You know what I mean? So um, I can I can definitely see that. I I think there's part of it that does that does take away from the human um, interaction that. You know, maybe like having like a family and stuff is not appealing to people. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I never. Well, I, it. I think economic, economics might have something to do with it too, because the younger generation, mm -hmm. firstly, if they get out of if they go to college and they get out of college, they're saddled with like one hundred fifty thousand dollars in yes, debt absolutely. right from the start, right from the and start. children are very expensive, and so oh them God. for them to get um, jobs and be able to have their own place, which that's why a lot of them are even still moving back home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if they can find a place that they can afford and feed themselves, and uh, it, it might take a little bit longer until they're in a position to where yeah. they're comfortable with having a child. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I live in the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. Whenever I see a young couple with a baby, I'm like, damn, they got money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? The other day I saw a pregnant woman crossing the street. I was like, ha! to be you because summer's coming up and I remember being pregnant during the summer oh. and I was thinking my that's fetus was boiling inside of me yeah. and oh, I was like and that's all that I thought my daughter was like mom what is wrong with you and I was like I'm not pregnant she's yeah. pregnant <laughs> yeah like if you were six months pregnant during the middle of August yeah. Oh. oh my God. Sorry. No way. It sucks yeah, to be you. Suck. I mean, childbirth, yeah, that's really wonderful. It's a beautiful thing, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. For somebody a, else. For somebody, somebody else. else. But now when you feel like your fetus is boiling inside of your uterus, <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. I'm so glad I didn't have children. Yeah. <laughs> but then people who have children are like, you don't know what you're missing, so how do you know it to be glad? <laughs> I can go to brunch, bitch. That's yeah, what I know. I can go to brunch every day. I can go to Dubai. <laughs> Guess who's going to Dubai? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So, okay. No, but I do like. I like Bill Maher. I, I've always liked I his shows because he's just. I do too. So, and when I when I first met him was after his show. Which was used to be called politically incorrect, yeah, that's what and yeah. Th that yeah. when that first started, because I was a huge fan of that and went to a couple tapings mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I've been, I, I like him a lot. And some women will be like, "Yeah, but he's so sexist," and I'm like, "He's not sexist. No, huh? I think he's, he's cocky. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Absolutely. I don't think regardless of what he's talking about, he's got, he's a little cocky. You know? Yeah, he does so. have a big dick then. For sure, you know. No, he's I think he does. Guy, yeah, he's cocky. Maybe he does. Maybe that's where he gets his confidence Blech. from. <laughs> Maybe like when he does his undoes his pants, he's got a seven inch. Or he just like walks into the green room. He's like, "Hey guys, what are we talking about today?" <laughs> well, because for years he's been working that cock. He's been working it. Yeah, he is. Uh, he, he gets he gets, <laughs> he gets no models yeah, and all of that. Don't come when out he was and complain about him. When he was growing up, he. I'm guarantee yeah. girls were not flocking to him. Right. He did not so have models well, yeah. and pretty girls all over him. But yeah. now that he's on television, he's out there, all these beautiful women are coming at him. He's just fucking a different one every night. Now, he's having a good that time. Interesting. Yeah. I always like to hear those stories about like the high school nerd that nobody wants to speak mm -hmm. to that all of a sudden like is in their twenties and like has millions of dollars and tons yeah. of beautiful women around. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's gotta fuck with your head. That's gotta fuck with your head. Yeah, I you think know? that would make you cocky. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you because know, I mean, I see guys like, say, Seth Rogen, for example, mm-hmm. who I do not find attractive in the least, but mm-hmm. he's always got models mm-hmm. hanging mm-hmm. on him because well, of I his think now position. He's married, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, what bugs me about Seth Ro- Rogen is he always laughs, laughs at his own jokes and he'll only mm-hmm. say about three or four words and he'll do that. <laughs> I can't stand people who do that. I can't. It's as bad as going, you know, like, you know, like. Yeah, I'm saying. Can you? No. Another one, another thing I don't like is. Um, what I'm about to say is, can this sound racist, but it's... Yeah! <laughs> uh, bitch, you sound racist! <laughs> I know this is going to sound really bad. But yeah, it Probably, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah really you're does. right. If you have to preface whatever you're going to say <laughs> with it might sound, chances are it's a dead ring. Well, let's the just give a say. warning. Racist content about to yeah. happen. <laughs> You know, like with anal sex, anal sex content is about to happen. <laughs> Warning sign. <laughs> <A lot. laughs> it's a good subject. <laughs> yeah, man, Bill Maher might have a big cock. Maybe that's why he's I think he does. So I think brave. it's thick. I don't know why. I just always think oh, he yeah. just, he strikes me as one that, that just so. is kind of thick. I don't know. I just don't mm-hmm. think so. I have to say, he does have Jewish bloodline mm-hmm. and i have, <laughs> what is that? well because <laughs> this may sound a little <laughs> this might sound sound racist. Racist. Because, <laughs> because the um sampling of jewish men that i have had that were like super skinny i like uh-huh. how she says oh, skinny yeah well yeah that's super one skinny, thing yeah. and then all of a sudden they took their pants off and they had a big old whip shit that, yeah whip that, that baby out like, yeah holy crap okay skinny jewish guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know i was like that's okay funny. i yeah. like how she says sampling yeah <laughs> oh i have huge sampling so i can say that <laughs> you know, I I was an escort too. for a while. I have mm-hmm. a huge sampling that I can draw from. Did you ever have like a cock that was too big that you were just like, you're not sticking that in me? Or no, maybe charge the next one. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't too big. It was like an eight incher, I think, was probably the biggest mm-hmm. I've ever had, I think. I'll have to go back through my book. But no, nothing that went that went, oh she my wrote God. It down and she has reference to it, I'm impressed with. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a scientist. I recorded everything. <laughs> Yeah, I know cock size, how tall he was, what nationality he was. Wow. Oh, yeah, because that was part of my scientific sample, because I wanted to see, you know, does cock size have to do with nationality? Right, yeah. All that kind of stuff. So, I wrote, so from your experience, what who would you have? say has the biggest cock size? Uh, from my experience, the guys that have any kind of Nordic blood, like all those... The Finland, the Viking Swedish. dudes. I was, here I am thinking, like, mm-hmm. how do I know if they're Nordic? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Pull their but, pants down. Like, um, <laughs> so, like with the Oops, Irish you must be and Swedish. the English. Any Vikings? Anyone? Right. Like, <laughs> well, so the Irish and the English, it's half and half because a lot of them did come from the Germanic tribes and the Nordic tribes and stuff like okay. that. But then a lot of them were from the original inhabitants that came up. And, and so with them, you're never quite sure. But usually the taller ones will have the bigger cocks, mm-hmm. you know? Um, the skinny Jewish guys all of a sudden would have big cocks. I would just be like, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> the Asians in general have small cocks. Okay, mm-hmm. sidebar here. This <laughs> you ever is going to sound racist. <laughs> black men, yes. The black, uh-huh. It was a black man that had a big cock. Your Dominicans, if they have the black in them more than just the Spanish in them, are going to have your big okay. cock. Okay, Here's Asian sidebar. sidebar. Here's my sidebar. You ever notice when she starts talking about cocks, she always gets this... This, this, this. Oh, I do. Oh, oh my God! So the guy with the cock. <laughs> and I was like, I do. Where did she get this from? Yeah, where did I get that from? I don't know. <laughs> so these guys. That's my they professional voice. Really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my scientist voice. Is that the scientist? I need my glasses. The glasses and a yeah. little pad with a pen. And put my hair back <laughs> on right now. Yeah. So yeah. So that's, that's my sample. Yeah. That's okay. Great. So then you were saying the Asian guys what? In general, have small cocks. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Black men in general have big cocks. Mm-hmm. Mm. The Spanish, it depends mm, on if they have Latin enough black men. in them. If they have it, what? Enough black in them. Mm. You know. Um, yeah, I've seen. Uh, that's yeah. run the gamut. I've mm-hmm. seen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Runs the gamut. I would say, um, but overall, they're sizable. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing mm-hmm. I love about the Latin men is they know they like mm-hmm. to use it. They like yep. to use the and. Yeah. They hold. They don't hold back. I have a partial towards Latinas. Whew. I have to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some and of the I best know, sex I've had is usually. And we talked about this before with sense of smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. white guys don't do it for me. White guys almost have no smell in my. When I smell white guys, they almost mm-hmm. have no smell. But mm. a Latino has the perfect smell. Mm. But a black man has too much smell. 
An Asian mm. man doesn't have enough smell. But a Latino, man, when I smell a Latino, I go all mm. hot and crazy. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. I hear ya. Yeah, I never, never, I never mm. uh, accounted for smell no. in there I'm or aroma. Very, I'm very big on smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of women are. Women really do. There's, there's something primal with our smells. Mm -hmm. We have well, isn't that like the what pheromones. is it? Pheromones, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I noticed that, it, and that surprised me when I was an escort too. And that I started to notice that. Mm. I was like, oh wow, yeah. Did you ever have like times when it would surprise you? Like you would meet some some guy and it'd be like, oh god, this is gonna be a long. And then it's like, oh yeah, oh baby, oh fuck yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Give it to yeah, me, baby. I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, oh okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I had a natural dislike for any young guy, and then all of a sudden a young guy turned me on past mm -hmm. my knowledge, past yeah. my logical brain, and so it had to have been his young hormones mm -hmm. or something. Because yeah. usually I'm yeah. not turned on by young men, but he did have a strong man Marlon Brando body, which I've always been attracted to. Yeah. Every time I think of Marlon Brando, I think of that big belly. Oh, yeah. that Marlon Brando. No, you got to see his early <laughs> The young stuff. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Oh. The young, he had a sexuality Stella. to him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had a sexuality to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, all, it's, it really is that inner sexuality that some guys have. Mm -hmm. Okay. What were we talking about? Yeah, right. I was just going to say that. <laughs> well, which actually leads us to our next oh, topic Mark. that you were talking about with the smell and everything with gladiators, right? Did we talk about Oh, this? right. No, we haven't yeah. talked about this yet. Okay. Okay, so back in the olden days, the Greeks and the Romans and stuff had uh, thought that, um, well, they would use olive oil as a type of soap. And so they would drench themselves in olive oil and then scrape themselves, you know? Um, and that was part of how they cleaned themselves. And but they would keep that, and they would they uh, would keep the oil yeah, because that, that sounds um, gross, right? Yeah, right. But because uh, there was a, a secondary market where all these women would buy this because the it was like, uh -huh. yeah, because it was supposed to be like a aphrodisiac a, right, or a turn right. on, a pheromone. And then um, no, you know what I think. So happened? it would be bottled, like well, yeah. or, uh -huh. there was some woman that was like. You'll get skinny if you play with this. Like if you put this on your face, and all the women yeah. are like, "Okay, I need yeah. gladiators yeah. sweat." Right. You know, you yeah, can exactly. tell anything. And like rhino horns supposedly make you hard as an old man, as for vitality. So a whole bunch of people, you know, the rhino's going extinct or, because uh -huh. people think rhino horn works as a as a dick hardener. Yeah, I wonder who started that. Yeah, right? You know, mm -hmm. like, like... who got a turn on after doing somebody, it? Somebody, yeah. Like, like, we talked about this in the past, too. Like, the shark fin. Right. Like That's who another for, one. Like, who how did, was yeah. like, my calc is so hard because of this guy. Yeah, because <laughs> like, I was chewing on that shark fin. Yeah, like, that, that's <laughs> interesting. Well, yeah. Why were you chewing on the shark fin in the first, first place? Yeah. <laughs> so, I was thinking, um, has anybody ever really did a scientific experiment like, get Kobe Bryant after a basketball game, mm -hmm. slather him up with some olive oil, scrape it off of him. I could do that. Right? I'll do the And scraping. then, like, have a whole bunch of women <laughs> do an experiment, see if they get turned on smelling it or rubbing it on them, or sell it to men to put into their protein powder so that they can have all that testosterone from his sweat, uh -huh. you know, because everybody's mm. buying those fake steroids. Cook your eggs in the morning with that olive oil. Right, right. <laughs> so and then you're getting his, sweat. His, his sweaty testosterone sorbing through your skin, and maybe that gives you a hard-on, or it's an aphrodisiac. I would probably like use that as use, a douche. Right, they used to take, <laughs> take deer musk douche. and sell it as an aphrodisiac. <laughs> 